Hi guys, I'm Dr. Kim Sage. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist in Newport Beach, California. And like you, most of you, I am home, working from home. But I wanted to make some quick videos to help you with some uh, just ways to feel better and ways to calm and soothe your anxiety and stress. And really what I do believe will be some trauma symptoms that will come out of all of this for many people because this is such a scary and unknown, uh, such a scary and uncertain time. Okay, so today's exercise or video is about the container exercise. Now, if you've done EMDR, then you probably know about it, but if you haven't, um, you don't even need to do EMDR to know about it. It's an awesome technique. What we're really doing is teaching you how to compartmentalize, which oftentimes in therapy, we're sort of you know integrating and opening things up. But right now, we can become so flooded with fears and stress and worries and our own memories and just the pressure of what's happening every day, every minute, that we can become flooded and overwhelmed. And that can often contribute to symptoms of panic and, and super high anxiety. So the container exercise is a way to just sort of take whatever's coming up, put it away for now, knowing that you can always take it out and deal with it later, but in, when we do trauma work, we want to teach uh, patients how to, and clients, how to deal with the um, disturbing thoughts or memories or worries that can come up in between sessions. And so this is just a great, great technique for really for everybody. Um, so obviously I'm not your therapist, so make sure that you are able to do something like closing your eyes and doing a meditation. Don't do this while you're driving, but I'm just gonna walk you through what we're doing, okay? So normally when I do this, I have people in my office do it with a brief breathing relaxation technique, um, maybe some progressive muscle relaxation. I'll come back to that one in another video. But I find it most helpful to close your eyes, do some of that four square breathing I just posted in my other video or four, seven, eight breathing. Get yourself into a safe, comfortable spot, preferably if you have to even go in the closet and hide from your kids or whatever, or in the bathroom maybe. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna visualize in your mind's eye some type of container. So it can be a box, it can be a pod, you know, those big pods that we move. It can be a truck, it can be a paper cardboard box, um, it can be a jewelry box. I like to imagine, this is just my container, um, this like long, beautiful box and it's covered in things like seashells or crystals or you can see I'm kind of girly, um, or feathers, which is why I probably had three boys and then a daughter. Um, but the point is you create whatever you want, right? So you're going to visualize and imagine this container and I'm gonna walk you through the exercise and you're going to imagine putting all of those uncomfortable, yucky, worrisome thoughts, stresses, feelings, worries, memories, really anything into the box. Now it needs to have a lid or a door of some sort so you can imagine shutting it. And then you also can imagine how that you might wanna take things out and look at them and deal with them and then put them back in. So what it would look like is I'm laying in my bed at night, I can't fall asleep, I'm stressing and thinking about, you know, what if this happens, what if that happens, or it's reminding me of some memory I have or some illness I had before, um, what if my daughter gets sick again, things like that. And I would imagine taking the energy and this, this whole memory and thought and feeling, putting it into my container inside, shutting the lid on it and saying, I'm just gonna stop thinking about that right now. I'm gonna put it away. I don't have to like get rid of it, but I'm gonna put it away for now. So you can do it with you know breathing, with music playing, some kind of meditative music, that'd be helpful. But it goes like this, okay? So I'm just gonna walk you through it. And so here's what it sounds like. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths, maybe holding in for a count of four, pausing for a count of four, sigh, exhale, <sighs> for a count of four, all right? So as your eyes are closed, you're going to want to imagine some type of container. It can be any size or shape. What's important is that it has some type of lid or door, and it can be covered in any kind of fabric or material. It can be any color. It can be anywhere in, in the world, in nature, something you've actually seen, like I said, like a pod in someone's yard. And you're going to imagine that all of the, or any of the thoughts or feelings or worries or stresses you're having, that you're just gonna put them inside that container, okay? And for me, I like to imagine that I'm holding this, this box container and it has all these different compartments inside. 
and each compartment it can be you know a tiny little compartment it can be a big one you know how at container store they have those like storage things all the little little spots you're going to imagine that um, each little container section has a place for your worries your fears your memories your joy your losses your wounds whatever and when you're feeling overwhelmed you want to imagine that container visualize it and you can keep changing it if you want um, but you want to imagine holding it or seeing it and taking those feelings, thoughts, or worries, whatever they are, and putting them away in the compartment, closing the lid, shutting the door, and just setting it aside and just noticing what it feels like to put all those things in there. You might have to think about what do they feel like? What do they look like? What do they sound like? If you need to get more imagery going, but you just want to imagine all of the energy of those really just yucky, worrisome, whatever they are feelings and putting them away in that container, okay? So you can also Google the container exercise um, with EMDR would be a good way to find it quickly. And I can link some down below, but please just find ways to stay well and take good care of yourself. And I will see you in the next mini video. All right. Thanks guys. Take care. Bye.